Hi Scorpios, as you can see, I just um, spilled my candle and I was like, okay, let me clean it up. And then I was like, no, I kind of feel like it's meant to be like that. I don't know. Maybe somebody um, is feeling like a mess and they need to know that there's beauty in the mess. What one person would see as a mess, maybe somebody else would see you know, a beautiful picture that could be taken and things like that. So, yeah, I just felt like I'm going to leave it. But hello, my beautiful Scorpios. This is your reading for the second half of February, which of course will be Pisces season. And we do have Mercury going into retrograde on the 17th of February until the 10th of March. So, as I always tell you guys... Just watch out for those Hey Stranger text messages. Oh, here they are. <laughs> Knight of Wands. I did do a Leo where Scorpio came up heavy. So if you're dealing with a Leo, here they come charging towards you. Ooh, two fell out there. So if you're looking for information about what cards I use in each video, um, that'll be in the description box along with how to contact me for personal readings. Okay, you guys know I'm a Scorpio and I'm telling you my Leo ex, just text me as well, I missed you. So if you can hear my laptop going off, which I'm going to put on silent now, as I did this video, it's my Leo ex. Um, <sighs> I don't know, what does he want? Well, I know what he wants, this Knight of Wands energy. Um, somebody may be trying to um, text you or call on you for this energy. Um, no, no, no. Not in a retrograde, guys. They're going to leave just as quickly. And that's also represented by the Knight of Wands. But it could just be um, a new fire sign or somebody acting like a fire sign coming towards you here. So let's see. So yeah, the information you need will be in the description box. So check that out. If you're new, welcome. And please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get all the videos I post each month. Okay, two of wands. Yeah, decision time. It could be that you're at a crossroads with this person. Um, you know, feeling like, should I, shouldn't I? You know, do I answer them back? I kind of feel like that myself. Like, huh, are we going here again, Mr. Leo? Do, you know, do we really have to do this again? Um, <laughs> like I said, it could be any um, sign here. But as you can see, a strong indication of fire just could be indicating passion because Venus um, is in Pisces, okay? So, you know, people coming back wanting answers from you, Scorpio. So maybe it's cross watchers wanting answers or coming forward and saying, you know, hey, what's this? And, you know, um, you have a choice to make. You can give them the answers or walk away. Personally, um, I feel like ghosting people is kind of abusive, um, I think I said that in Aries, actually. Um, so I don't recommend ghosting, but if you've tried and you've tried and you've tried again, maybe the only way they can get the answer is by not talking to them. And I say it's an answer about will you speak to them or not? Because up here I'm drawn to the birds. So birds are about messages, right? So will you um, message them or will you not here? The choice is yours, it seems, Let's see. Things will start to speed up for you um, now as well at the end of February. So if things have felt slow, um, things will start to speed up for you, right? Um, like I said, Mercury retrograding in Pisces. It will be in all the watery signs this time, Mercury retrograde. So it will get people in their feelings, um, wanting to talk to you, wanting to express themselves to you as we see in the Eight of Wands. So I wouldn't be surprised about that. You can expect it like it would be in Pisces, then Cancer season, then Scorpio season. So this time, um, the fact that you're questioning here with the two of wands, um, wanting an answer or getting an answer or giving an answer, um, it's because of the confusion of Pisces season, right? Oops. So, yeah, the Hierophant here. So, oh, gosh. Um, will you marry me? 
oh, this is what I'm hearing or seeing here. Um, it's kind of freaking me out a little bit. <laughs> I don't want to hear this question myself. Um, so, yeah, I definitely don't want to hear that. Maybe some of you do. And you'll get asked, you know, can we make this official um, with the Hierophant here? Because it can indicate a marriage card. It could just indicate a Taurus um, that's wanting these answers from you or that you've been through this divine lesson with. Taurus is your opposite sign. So it can be that, you know, you're not acting like yourself or not feeling like yourself as well at this time. Um, so maybe you're in this fiery energy. And, you know, you just want to start going, going, going. Now um, it, the planets are speeding up. You want to be going, going, going. Um, maybe you felt like that during the earthy season, in Capricorn season, and you just got nowhere. So you could be asking, am I still going to continue on this path if I'm getting nowhere? But you'll find that things speed up now and you'll get um, some sort of message. Can be about money as well. Um, there indicating your fifth house with Taurus so yeah I feel like it's more relationship wise though hopefully it's about money <laughs> typical Scorpio aren't I too many have jumped out but we'll look okay here we are queen of wands with this two of cups judgment oh the devil the nine of wands so being blocked out from somebody, they now come forward wanting a second chance. That's judgment. Okay, it's like divine timing is now. Um, somebody's going to take action here with the Two of Cups, Queen of Wands. Somebody who blocked you off, even somebody who was led away by desire or by um, addictions, things like that. With the de it, for some, it'll indicate a Capricorn. For others, I feel like this person may still have this addiction, so you should... You know, keep up your wall here, question their motives, especially during a retrograde. Um, Scorpio, it could be like you, like, you know, um, blocking them and they're asking you for a second chance and you're still blocking them. This person will take action towards you here. They've been very attracted towards you. Um, oops, with Venus, let's see these again then. With Venus in Pisces. Um, I definitely feel like it's going to make you um, more attractive, want to start taking better care of yourself. Nine of Pentacles, look at this, taking better care of yourself, moving on, moving away from somebody. All about your money here. All about your money. So it's an ideal time for um, making money, okay, Scorpios? Um, get moving, six of uh, swords there. So where it was a little bit rough and... Um, you know, maybe you wasn't thinking as positively. You're going to move into a better energy where you start thinking more positively and it gives you that motivation to go. So I'm feeling like motivation for your money here, right? Um, this person, we're not seeing a lot of cups, are we? So you're like, got my money on my mind and my mind on my money. <laughs> That's an old song. Where did that come from? Yeah, somebody is definitely like, I'm motivated to make my money here. Like... I'm motivated to look good, feel good, look after me, um, make my money for me, be independent. So it could be even like moving to an independent business or something like that, your own self-employed, um, that being really positive for you with the Ten of Pentacles, good money coming in, moving towards this good money. You know, uh, you could have had money coming in and then it went through a rough period and now you're getting back to a good period here. So... Maybe deciding to spend, you know, the second half of February on your own or just focused on money, right? You've got these offers coming in and people coming towards you, though, but you're just like, like I said, mind on my money and my money on my mind, right? Um, you want to get this moving, don't you, Scorpio? You want to start, look, this is the Hierophant. Oh, here we go. Here's the cups. Yeah, sort of like fighting this love. You may be... Ha under the impression and um, we did see the Capricorn so if it is an earth sign you may feel like it's a lose-lose situation no matter how much I love them I lose if I don't love them you know I lose or whatever if I offer them they're going to reject me I lose you know if I accept them there's still this argument so I lose so I feel like right now you're just like I'm all about my money <laughs> 
Um, again, the Queen of Pentacles indication of working for yourself and being your own boss here, right? Um, Ace of Cups indication of um, an opportunity to find love here. Some of you may be choosing um, between two people and just realizing, look, no matter what we do, we always argue, we always fight, and I've got to take care of myself, I've got to do what's best for myself, I've got to love myself and nurture myself here. Love for me right now is this lose-lose situation that I don't really want to be involved in. So when I said I don't see any cups, now we get a huge cup, so I think towards the um, end of February is a time like where you can have a break from work and maybe be like, okay, so I'm open for love, but or I'm looking for love here. We can see this. Use your intuition during Pisces season um, with this Ace of Cups, definitely. It's more about um, intuition than logic. Or you may find that you're extremely psychic during this time. Um, I know I just said to my friend, she said, hi, and I said, oh, are you pregnant? And she went, yes. <laughs> like she didn't, I didn't even let her get the news out and tell me that she's pregnant. I, I just said, oh, are you pregnant? And all she said was hi over a text message. So you may find yourself like highly intuitive at this time, right? Um, a lot of earth energy here. And that's why I just said, I feel like people are coming forward to you and you are maybe texting people or talking to new people or, you know, but I, I feel like focus is money, you know, um, and it's a good time for it. You know, coming out of the back of Capricorn season, it should have been a good time for us, but I don't think it really was. I felt like we couldn't get motivated. And that's what I'm seeing in the Six of Swords there, motivation returning to be about your money, to be about yourself and that self-love and that self-worth. Um, but if I was to say, who can I see here? I see a Taurus, I see a Capricorn, I see Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, uh, Virgo, um, Capricorn we even seen, and Air. So yeah, it's like all the signs are here. I know people keep asking me, can you say the signs? But all the signs will come out. It's more about the energy involved here. Okay, guys, so I feel like the opportunity for you to find love... Um, will be the end of February. Good luck, guys.